Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ixion, where the Piranesi is still in pursuit. Fortunately, she's not gaining speed, but, uh, well, let's say we're properly motivated to keep moving, considering that this thing is constantly coming closer. Um, it is trying to kill us, it's trying to eat us, I'm not even sure what it's trying to do, but it's probably not going to be any fun. Now, let's see what 12E holds. Oh, I still need a science ship here. Um... Darwin, get over here. I have seen fit to get as many batteries under construction as I can. This will hopefully allow me to travel around a little longer without losing hull integrity. Um, you can see that I have about five cycles on average for my station. I'm going to need more than that. It's not looking good. Because the rate at which I have to keep moving from planet to planet to planet, kiting the Piranesi along, is not good. I need more juice, so let's make sure we have that. Let's tell the Scopes team to start building Icarus 3, while we work on the construction of a Faraday cage. This is something we can build. It's going to cost me 480 polymers. It's a lot, but it'll have to get built. Um, I just need to main hull integrity while I'm doing that. Why is our hull not being repaired? There we go. It is. Missile. Return fire. Counter missile. I've updated this drone bay here to also shift to the construction of countermeasures. So that if one is unavailable, the other one will be available. At least that's the plan. Whether that will work... I don't know. It's as good a shot as any. And I really hope that my drone bays are going to speed up my ability to transfer, research, or transfer resources from one to another. Because it seems that getting resources everywhere, especially the amount of alloys, is going to be rather important. Sector 3 is still suffering from having food shortages. Um, let's... Yeah, this thing's already maxed out. Let's power this thing back up. Make sure every worker goes to Sector 3, because that's where I need them right now. Yeah, we're getting juice for six cycles on Sector 2. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Ah. 12E is an eligible candidate for testing and implementation of our colonization protocols. Yeah. No, let's... <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of all this shit, we're starting to colonize a planet. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that's not a missile, so that's a drone swarm. Um, I have enough power for four cycles. This is going to take me two seven. Let's do it. We're going to go to 12 Delta. I'm sorry, my little science ship and cargo ship. You're going to have to travel a bit farther to drop off the colonists. But it's probably... Well, let's say it's preferential over maintaining the presence of my ship inside that drone swarm. Oh! Oh! These drone swarms... They stay around planets, right? 12C, 12F, and now 12E. Those things are staying in position. So, I still have 12D, 12J... 12G, 12H. I have options. But the problem is that my options are going to get more and more limited as time goes on. Hmm, that's not great. More than 500 people have died. We're still collecting the required amount of uh, polymers. speak. We must keep moving forward. We cannot have our final resting place here. Okay. Uh, this is probably not going to be great for my trusts. Especially Sector 3 is causing me all sorts of mayhem. And I don't believe that there's much that I can do beyond quickly solving their food issue. What is Sector 3's biggest issue? Population starving. That's the minus 3. Right. Without that, without that, you should be positive. So that's all, right? 
Yeah, I'm losing 11% there. Okay. Mm. I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. What I still don't quite understand is why we're not getting enough food delivered to this particular sector. Is it because the drones are too busy? Is that it? Sector 2, your food producing or food production. Why are you not delivering to sector 3? Go to uh, half the sector's capacity, please. There, it's like it suddenly woke up and went, oh, right. Yeah, no, that's my job. Yeah, you bloody well think it is. Just make sure you go and do it now. Because I cannot take a hit like this for very long. That will kill me. And it's not like an easily, like an easily uh, mitigated either. Can I pull workers from anywhere else? Not really. No, not really. Um, what I can do is temporarily power down the steel mill, freeing up 30 workers from one. That way, these 30 workers from one can help out in sector three. Go. Be quick about it. Sector three also has a housing issue. That's probably the easiest thing for me to fix. Oh, you really don't need to do that. No, seriously. Fuck off. Um, yeah, we're working on that. Eventually. Power? 3.6, sorry, 3.7 is my lowest. 3.8. Alright. Okay, Sector 3 is no longer as pissed off as they once were. Good news. How's my Faraday cage coming along? For We're about to build it. Very good. Very, very good. I hope this isn't going to take me too much time. Because I don't have time. Um, can we do any kind of research, perhaps? Construction speed increased. Yeah, that takes prior out. Because my whole integrity can last a while. I'd rather not test it. Too much. Oh, that thing is coming fairly close. Fairly close. No, I don't care about the probes. How fast? 2.2 cycles. Bye-bye. Off we go. Off we go. <clears throat> yeah, I know. It's kind of problematic, isn't it? Come on, finish that Faraday case so we can blow that thing up. Thank you. Oh. Could you not? Is that a... That's a swarm. Lovely. Can we blow this thing up? Icarus 3, ready for launch. The scope will be destroyed in the process, but the crew will enter cryonic pods to survive the pulse. Go. Fire. Send it. Uh, the only ships I'm not too confident about are all of my cargo ships. So let's see if I can pull all of these things in and make sure they survive. If not, then their sacrifice will be remembered. Click, 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 click. Just a button that says, everybody come home. The, the Age of Empires bell feature would be lovely. Just to make sure that you just click the bell and every worker comes home. I don't like the way that the Piranesi is anticipating my movement patterns by sending a drone swarm there already. That's a bit rude. What? A cyber attack launched by the Piranesi has oh, bloody hell. Stop messing with the mess holes. You, this thing is such an annoying foe. Sector 3. Sector 3 doesn't even have an issue. It has so many mess holes. Sector 5. Sector 6. Come over here. There. 
Okay, everybody happy now? Got your snacks? Cool. We got 4.3 cycles. We are out of here. See ya. So that's kind of 12G out of the question. Oh, these ships better run home. Because in uh, about two and a half cycles, they might not be here. Who is that? The Bardiche, tier three. Go away. Countermeasure away. Prunacy is now definitely speeding up. How long? One cycle. You better make it quick. 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Science ship has been destroyed. Tor Icarus 3 has detonated and activated the pulsar. The crew of the scope had time to enter cryonic pods before life support infrastructure was neutralized. But. Oh, yes. Excellent. And my cargo ships <laughs> don't seem to give a fuck. <laughs> oh, I was so concerned about this. And now it just goes, eh, whatever. Okay, let's go bring our boys home. Uh, you, no, not the close cap. They push Paka. Let's see, am I low on anything? Not really. You're going to get me some silicon with a secondary on this and a secondary on that. You're going to get me nothing really. I got a ton of resources. Mine some ice if you must. And I do need another science ship, that's for sure. Hey, the rat's back! <laughs> Did we cycle through all the names? Is that what's going on? We cycled through all the names. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't need the countermeasures, potentially. So let's make sure... No. No, 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 no. Let's do a probe. Oh, to build the probe. Oh, to build the probe. Okay, so the new science ship is going to check out the Piranesi. And hopefully find the location of Remus. And it looks like all the drone swarms have been eliminated. So if I want to help out the colonization effort, I can simply move closer to 12E. Because they do need 170 colonists. Are colonists considered cargo or people? Because there are some colonists in Sector 6, but not a lot. Uh, can I just shift a bunch of colonists across? Like 170 or so? Only colonists from Sector 3 to 6. Go. Does, does six even have this much living space? Mm, not really. Um, mm, 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 mm. I probably don't need all the batteries anymore. I was squeezing in batteries basically in every bit of space that I still had on this particular part of the Tycoon. So seeing as I don't strictly need that anymore, just put a demotics quarter there. Make sure people get a little happier. There we go. Well, survival or not, they're still clumsy as fuck. The rat! We've come full circle. Hello! Please check out the Piranesi. Must be good fun there. Oh, and can somebody prioritize thawing out or the 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 defreezing process. We picked up all the cryopods, haven't we? Yeah, cool. Okay, so that's in three. That means I can turn off the cryonic centers. There. Very good. Trust is good. Integrity is good. Piranesi. 
The Piranesi has been disabled by the Pulse. Its drones have been fried, its missiles detonated. As the Pulse hit, electrical arcs and explosions rippled across the ship's hull. The Tycoon's crew standing witness all the while. We've successfully entered the Piranesi through the breach in the hull. All the doors and airlocks not damaged by the Pulse have closed. Most systems that are visible appear to have melted. The, wo the walls ooze a black, gritty oil. Sounds lovely. Just make sure we get the location of Remus, right? Because then we can go there. And we can bring all of our 4,096 people to their new home. Although that must be pretty weird for them, considering that the Tycoon has been their home for the last six, five years? Five years about. Five years and change. And this is supposed to be a quick hop back and forth. And now look at us. Body of the Beast. The interior of the Piranesi has been severely damaged. Blue fires, blue fire still flickers in corner of the ship. Whole areas have collapsed in on themselves. Some of the debris looks almost organic. We've taken pictures of what appears to be biological neural networks seemingly used in the activation of the ship's airlocks. Drones litter the floor and hang from broken piping. On our way to the storage location, we passed a huge translucent pod. Seen that before. Decaying bodies float in the white bath of liquid it contains. You can see the color of their uniforms. Crew from the Etamananki. Despite the many obstacles, we've reached the device that holds the rim's coordinates. We are ready to activate the transfer. Why does this feel like we're not quite done? Off you go. I mean, we've blasted this thing to little bits. I just wonder if this is going to be as easy as plugging in the USB cable and giving it power. I kind of suspect it might not. We still need 120 colonists. Any further science things I can get? Make the cargo ships faster? 60% more resources. Sounds like a plan. Is there still more? Yeah, there's a bunch more silicon coming in. Okay, connect it. And let's go get the coordinates. Yeah, we cannot offload the silicon. One of our cargo bays is once again full. This one. Chock full of iron. And iron is chock full here as well. Um, let's turn this thing back on then. Look at this little ant hill. <laughs> Completely randomly moving about. Okay, so the cargo ship upgrade is almost complete. The thing's fully done. Mining ships move faster, they mine faster, they mine even faster, and they are more likely to endure. Hmm... Yeah, let's get a bit more juice from our solar panels. All integrity is falling. What? How's that? We still have enough. Ah, there we go. It's coming back up. Okay. So, Piranesi. Give me the information that I seek. Transfer is complete. All lights are green. We took advantage of the time it took to recover the coordinates to analyze what was left of the systems on board the Piranesi. The use of its main weapon and the Atamanaki's defensive efforts left it terribly weakened. The ship seems to still vibrate with what perhaps could be called its final breaths. It should not be long before it fully collapses in on itself. We should get as far away as possible. When this amalgamation of evil technology breathes its last at the end of its agony, it could be devastating. Alright. Full jump to your next destination. But I still have a colonization test to complete. And uh, we're kind of getting into that in a minute or two. Yeah, we just let's complete this and I'll come back to you.
As I was just bringing over colonists to 12e, I also found another science thing. An unknown structure. So the rat's checking it out. We've detected a Dolos signature. There is some wreckage here, not much larger in size than the rat. Contained within is Distress Beacon. The emitted signal is incredibly similar to those that the Tycoon uses. Okay, what is that? Why do we have random, or potentially not so random, distress calls going off? That sounds a bit iffy. I do believe that at this point I have completed all the sciencey things. Yeah, there's nothing else out here. There's just still a ton of ice. Lots of carbon and stuff, but... Well, my cargo bays are still chock full of stuff. And I did consider opening another sector to put a whole bunch of storage in. But the problem is I don't have the workers. I simply don't have enough workers. I can transfer a bunch of workers from here to another sector, but I need more cryonic pods if I want to make this successful. What I would really love is if you could somehow turn non-workers into workers. I just don't know if that's a thing, and I don't know how you would do that. So we're just going to have to, uh, well, kind of wait. The colonists are working on their little base on 12E. They're transmitting their uh, research every now and then, so I'm still getting some research, and that's nice. Oh! Well, there we go. The team has identified the fragmented rack as part of the Tycoon. A large amount of Frostachions were detected in the area, as well as frozen corpses of Tycoon crew member Kenji Sato. Reviewing DLS data confirms that Kenji Sato is alive and well on the station. Tycoon engineers have also verified that the components and plating found at the wreck are still in their proper place in the Tycoon. The team of the rats see this as a warning spelled out in an inscription they found on a piece of floating metal. Let's not make the mistakes we know are possible. 172 science and 800 cryopods. Let's dismantle the wreck. And let's go and vacuum up all these cryonic pods, please. Because I would definitely appreciate having more crew. I mean, yes, it's more mouths to feed, but it's also... I'd say better odds for humanity and their survival on a new planet. I mean, we're going to need all the humans we can get if we want to continue humanity. There's still a building that I haven't discovered. So I think we haven't quite completed the story yet. Uh, there we go. Get me more drones. There's still more to research. Still more to get. And what I appreciate more than that, there is still more to explore in this game. You're never quite done. That might be it. Uh, the wreck has successfully been dismantled. Recovered resources are all are ready for cargo pick, cargo ship pickup. Bloody hell! There's no trace left of the strange phenomenon. Okay. Um, we have sedation cell upgrade unlocked for cell housing, but I don't use that anyway. So I don't particularly see that becoming something that I'm really going to invest a lot of resources in. Let's head over to three. Because with all these cryopods coming online, or rather coming into the station, I'm expecting to have to do quite a lot of awakenings. And that might also allow me to populate five a bit more. Um, turn this into this massive storage, if well, kind of, if you will, that I've always kind of wanted. Maybe like raw resources over there. Um, that could look like... Eh, not quite like that. Maybe like this. And then have like a docking bay there. Like a docking bay as such. And with this I can store a ton of resources. Just the raw resources that the drones can then transfer to the other sectors. So this would just be uh, iron, carbon, silicon. I don't use hydrogen much. I don't use ice that much. Since... Sector 2 is still uh, well underway. Although I'm not exactly 100% on the amount of trash that I have. Mm. What's the waste policy for these sectors anyway? Waste recycling, 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 not in use. Sectors 5 and 6 are on waste destruction. We're going to go to waste recycling. It's going to cost me some stability. But I still have a large buffer, so it should be fine. 
And as long as Sector 3 is perfectly happy, we have a bit of leeway with other sectors. And ideally, this would give me more waste that I can recycle here. So the water compensation is going to stay effective. Yeah. Here we go. We've got the cryonic pods coming in. And the cryonic centers are hard at work. They're giving these people a new life aboard the Tycoon. Still, whatever the hell that was, I don't know. It's a bit suspicious, I'd say. I don't quite know what to make of that. Right, so Sector 5. Put this here. Put this here. I know it's not the most ideal way to place things down, but... I still have a whole bay that I'm not using. Sector 4. So, if push comes to shove, I can still relocate stuff there. A few cycles later, we're ready. The Pernas has been defeated. The colonization efforts on 12E were successful. Everybody is ready to go onto the next sector. Where that vol jump will take us, I don't know. All I know is I can power up the action drive and go. So, ships are coming back again. Um, I hope they hurry up because the tycoon apparently <laughs> isn't waiting around. So let's go. Jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. I sense Remus. We have reached the Ilya system. Structural failure of the Tycoon is near. We should initiate the Neocond colonization protocol. Meaning? Final Horizons. Well, we need to find Remus. It might be in this Ilya system. It's going to be sending out a bunch of probes. Where is my dear Remus? Uh, it has to be a quest marker here. Yes. Okay, Rat, go check out Palatine. And definitely start working on getting everybody ready to be a colonist. There's so many people who are still not trained in this. So, yeah, let's start cycling this thing up to automatic and make sure that everybody's ready. I do wonder what the end of the tycoon is going to look like. Because we've been here for so long and it feels like getting everybody off the ship is just weird. It's just kind of weird to do. Here, let's go this way. Seeing as I don't need any countermeasures, I should just be able to use this one to start building probes, correct? Just get more probes out there. Start exploring faster. Is this where we're going to find Remus? Remus! We have found Remus. Greetings, people of the VVS Tycoon. I am Agora of the third generation. We, the Ashton Guides, know that you have been searching for Remus for a long time. However, we have established a delicately balanced ecosystem here on this planet that cannot suffer your presence. We remember Dolas as our first and closest ally, 
as the one who made the neocont partial teachings visible. Pioneers of genetic cunnitus, you have suffered repression, persecution, and extermination. In memory of the doors you opened for us, a far common past, it is our turn to open the door for you. There is a way for you and your crew to join us. You may be a part of our community. Shape it. We will no longer be we. You will no longer be you. We will become us. For this to happen, you will need to be genetically optimized for life and remus. We will incorporate your genetic heritage into our society. You will follow the elder process my predecessor applied to us. You will be adapted to the planet's gravity to photosynthesize. You will live in symbiosis with Remus. Let me be clear. Humanity's mistake has been its attempt to transform ecosystems to deny its place in them. We do not terraform, we change. We are not intruders. We are a crystalline part of the ecosystem. You will live longer and work according to your abilities and passions. Our elites guide us with pragmatism, intellect, empathy, and with sensibility. We have no other interest than to follow genetic canatus. Let us show you the new cradle of humanity. Trust in genetic canatus. We followed a self similar pattern. Right. So we found Remus, but by in order to be able to live there, we have to change the way we are. Does that still make us human, or does that make us something else? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I do know that this episode has come to an end. We've defeated the Piranesi, we found Remus, we're definitely a step closer. And now it's time to fix up whatever's left of the Tycoon. Whatever is left of the Tycoon. And see what we can get in Remus. What sort of place is this? Is this actually the habitable planet we found and that we have been searching for? Or are we still not quite there yet? Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for the next episode of Ixion.